Hello. I want to show now how uh, with this improvement of uh, SWARF and composite five axis cycle uh, is it possible to create uh, four axis cycles uh, on um, machine tools with just four axis or even three axis only. Now uh, I activated a license uh, called Freeform 4 plus 1 that enable uh, the composite and uh, SWARF cycles also on uh, uh, machine tools with less than five axis. I have this part that uh, is to be machined with uh, a SWARF cycle. Till now the only uh, SWARF cycle that uh, generate uh, a four axis uh, toolpath where perpendicular to axis and fixed angle with the uh, axis. Now, is it possible to uh, change the synchronization rule and to use any of these rules, just uh, uh, providing that we specify this new angle limitation. This option has been introduced just to allow to use any uh, synchronization rule also with five, four axis machine. For instance, now I selected uh, Adaptia tall axis for best fit uh, and I selected fixed angle with uh, X axis 90 degrees. I validate and uh, I can now simulate the, the toolpath. You see now that uh, even with a three axis machine, this toolpath could be executed and uh, calculated. Uh, the same uh, for um, the fixed angle and also for the uh, radial around the x axis. In this case, I used. Uh, uh, the rallet directory, the rallet, and if I select rebuild, uh, I get an error because uh, I didn't specify uh, the limits. But if I go back in the cycle and uh, I change angle limitation from no limits to fixed angle. Uh, for instance, uh, 120 degrees and calculate again. I get my toolpath. Without errors and I can simulate my my cycle. This extension is not limited only to the SWARF, but uh, also the um, composite can be used with the three axis, four axis machine, providing we have a, a four plus one license. For instance, in this case, I have a, um, a composite toolpath following the fillet. Uh, a true curve composite. I calculated it just locking an axis. In fact, if I open the toolpath, I see that uh, in the orientation rules I have a fixed angle uh, 90 degrees respect uh, to x axis. An interesting things, additional things, is that I can specify also uh, three axis uh, toolpaths uh, that follows the isoparametric of the surface. This uh, feature was till now available only in the legacy uh, freeform machining, not available in the mold cycles. Now, uh, taking advantage of this uh, particular license, uh, we can uh, specify a toolpath following parametric pattern 
The only things I have to specify is uh, uh, remember to, to select a fixed angle with uh, Z axis, zero degree, to have a, a vertical three axis toolpath. Note that uh, also with the fixed to fixture plane, I can get a vertical tool axis tool toolpath, but it's not the same. The, this new license for plus one is valid only if you specify fixed angle. This is uh, an internal rule, but it's not the same. If you say fixed to fixture plane, uh, it's still a five axis uh, operation. When you select fixed angle with Z axis, it, beca it become a four axis locked axis operation and can be executed also uh, with a restricted license. In fact, if I see uh, toolpath uh, analysis, we have a, a milling operation that follows the isoparametric and uh, creates a toolpath, three axis toolpath that can be executed also on three axis machine. So this new feature extend much the capabilities of uh, uh, five axis cycles on TNG. Thank you.